So first of all, what is what is um, uh, what is Clubo Stars? Clubo Stars is a browser-based game. So that means it's like uh, like e Republic. It's a game that takes place in a browser. Uh, so do not expect extreme action because in a browser you cannot play World of Tanks. Uh, what is the idea behind this? Uh, in my game, in Clubo Stars, you will be able to gather a team of fighters from e Republic and make them fight for you. The, the players from e Republic that will be represented in Club of Stars will be represented through cards. You will have to make a lineup of a certain amount of cards, usually five cards, and those cards will score for you points on the battlefield based on the performances of that player in e Republic. So if he gets a medal, if he gets damage, if he gets a prestige um, hunter medal, then he acquires point. Your team will face other players' teams on the battlefield, and the one that has the highest amount of points is the winner in the general classification. That is how it's working. Very, 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 very simply explained. And right now, let me let me actually show you some um, some uh, game uh, some game information. First of all, let's start with the logo. So let me present you, this is the logo of Clopo Stars. It represents the idea of Clopo Stars because the players that will um, come from e Republic into um, Clopo Stars will be the stars. Namely my stars because I will hand pick them in order to, um, uh, to be represented by you. Uh, <clears throat> uh, by, uh, that, that will help you gather the team. So um, uh, you'll, you'll always have to make a team of five players. And in some competitions or in some battles, you will have one big star, which will be the hero. That is the that is the meaning of the five stars. The big star is the hero, like in the Republic, and the four stars are the other hero. Hence, also the slogan of um, Club of Stars: Every battle has its hero. This one has them all, because you will be able to pick all the heroes from the Republic and make them work for you. Okay. I told you that um, the players in the Republic will be represented by cards. Okay, let me show you how such cards look like. There will be five types of cards, then depending on their rarity and all their, on how powerful they are. There will be normal cards, normal cards that everybody will receive at the start of the game, and those normal cards will give no additional bonuses. There will be pros cards, which will give you a 10% additional bonus to the base score of a card, silver card, gold card, and platinum card. So right now, let me show you the first um, the first card in the game. And this is the card called Klopoy Hour, of course. You can recognize this face over there because Klopo is narcissistic enough to put his face also in the e public profile. So this is the, the, normal, the normal card. This is uh, the type of card that everybody will um, will get at the start. They will be um, on the light blue color, similar with the e-republic background. And you can see uh, <clears throat> certain specific elements on the card. Of course, in the middle, you uh, you recognize the avatar. Each player in e-republic that is going to be represented in Club of Stars will have its avatar over here, his nickname over here, and of course, his, um, his ID over there. The country of nationality, the flag will be on the right side and on top is going to be the number of stars. Depending on the card's rarity, the card will have one, two, three, four or five stars. As I said, normal, bronze, silver, gold and unique, unique call it legendary um, uh, platinum or however, um, however you want. Also over here in the, in the lower part of the card, you can see the serial number. Because, because um, there will be no cards, no two cards identical in the game. Each card for each rarity will be uh, will be numbered. So if I start a game and I get the card Klopoyaur or any other card, it's gonna be serial number one. But once another player will um, will enter the game and it will get the card representing me, that card will have serial number two. So for the for the normal card. Because people are getting these cards for free, it's an unlimited amount of cards, hence that the serial number is one out of infinite. So we will, we can print we can print as many as many normal cards as we want. Okay, let's go a little bit further to the next type of card. This is the bronze card. As you can see, it has a different color. 
the same, the same, um, <clears throat> the same uh, placement for avatar name and ID, the same placement for the flag, but you can see on top there are two stars. And also over here in the serial number, you can see it's one out of 36. These cards can only be won in competitions, in battles. You cannot, you cannot get them for free. Because these cards have a limited amount available. As you can see, it's serial number one out of 36. In the game, there will only be a total of 36. So, let's say we go to the first battle, you got your 20 blue cards to start with. And you compete against other players. You are the first, you are the first on the battleground. You win, you win the battle and you get as prize a bronze card. This one, for example. If you get the bronze card Klopoyaur, there will only be in total 36 bronze cards Klopoyaur. There cannot be more than that. Okay. What, the, what does the number 757861? That is my e Republic ID. That's my e Republic ID. That is what represents. And what, why, is, why is the bronze card more valuable? Because it gives you an additional 10% to the base score. So, if Marabus, for example, gets this Glopoyaur card, which has bronze color, it's a little bit better than the normal blue ones, this one will get 10% more score than compared to the base one. So, for example, if Glopoyaur, according to the scores in the Republic, will get something like... Um, like 50 points, the blue card for Klopoyar will get 50 points, the bronze card will get 5% more. 5% out of 50 is another uh, 2.5, I guess. So, the uh, yellow, the blue, um, <clears throat> the blue card will make 50 points, the bronze card will make 52.5. That is the difference between the cards. Of course, now we go to more valuable cards. The third type, and this is the silver one. <clears throat> okay. The silver card has the same identification um, uh, elements like the avatar, the nickname and the area public ID, of course the flag. On top you can see there are three stars because it's a little bit more valuable than the bronze one. And the serial number is 1 out of 12. That means in the game in total there will be only 12 cards representing Klopoyaur. There cannot be more than that. So it's important that the more valuable the cards they are, the more scarce they are. They are. So if, if, they are, if they are more valuable, they are more rare. Okay? What, what is the silver card doing? Instead of 10% bonus as the bronze one, the silver card offers 20% bonus. So that means, for example, if the blue card Klopoyaur gets 50 points in a normal, in a normal round, the bronze one makes 52.5, the silver one makes uh, 60. 20% out of 50, it's 10, right? Yes, makes 60 points. Okay. So, this is the silver card, the silver card. Only 12 copies. Let's see the gold one. There will only be four copies of this card. So, if, if for example, Marabus gets one of these cards, Turbo gets one of these cards, Zone gets one of these cards, and Sisk gets one of these cards, no one else can have another card Klopoyaur for gold because there are only four copies in the game. This card, the golden cards, offer a bonus of 30% to the base score. And eventually, the most valuable card in the game is the unique one. This is Klopoyaur 5 stars, the unique. Okay? You can see the nickname over here, the, um, the serial number, and the, um, the ID, the public ID and the serial number which says unique that means that in the whole game there is only one card unique Klopoyaur because yeah it's unique is there is only one card the quality for the for the unique card and it offers a 40 percent bonus to the base score sounds like for the Mini armenian brand hello casadelli so this is these are how the the cards are looking like what is your purpose? Start with the, with the um, uh, blue cards that you are getting. You want, you want to get as many bronze, silver, gold and uh, unique cards and as better as possible because with this you will be able to participate in competitions in battles that will offer, offer higher prizes. So the better your cards, the better your score, it's, um, it's, um, it's gonna be. Okay. Sounds like for our men. Of course, Platinum Card will be only for Klopo's account. Yeah. Okay. 
Not as Sis was asking, where is my card in, in, um, in Club of Stars? Not every single player from the Republic will be represented in Club of Stars. I have, I have selected for the start a batch of 150 Republic players to be represented in Club of Stars. And, of course, I have not picked only the best players, I have not picked only the worst players. I have picked players from all, um, uh, from all the types of players, players that are tanking a lot, players that are playing um, day to day, playing that are, um, players that are doing things now and then. So, we have, we have um, um, a batch of 150 players that are evenly spread among, among the, um, uh, the um, <clears throat> performance they are doing in Ibami. Players with packs, players that are playing without packs, players that are um, doing pay to win, players that are playing free to play, all kind of, of players in the game. <clears throat> okay, good. Now, uh, Sabre says, I, so I got the cast. How is the game played? Okay, how is the game played? As I said, based on the e public performances, your cards will score, will have a score. So let me show you an example of how the score is calculated. Okay, so we have two days in the Republic. Let's focus on the first one. Okay, the first, the first, um, the first thing we are focusing over here is the crown damage. For every 500 millions done in the crown damage, I, you are awarded one point. Over here, we are not actually seeing the ground damage, we are seeing the ground rank points, which is a zero is missing at the end. So basically, this player made 20 billions, 435 millions, zero, blah, 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 blah. So for 20 billions, one, one point for every 500 millions, that means 40 points. Okay, in aviation, he did only 32,150 damage. So, in aviation, for every 50,000 damage, you get one point. While well, he didn't do um, that 50,000 damage, he got zero. For every Battle Hero medal, you get two points. 39 by 2, this guy got 39 medals, 78 points. For every Sky Hero medals, you get three points. Okay, he made one Sky, one, uh, sky Hero medal, he got three points over here. For every Campaign Hero medal, you get six points. He did not. For every resistance hero, mercenary hero, or prestige hero hunt, uh, prestige um, hero medals, you also get five points. He got none of this. So a total of 40 plus 78. This guy has 100 uh, plus three, 121 points. So if you have this warrior on your side with a blue card, you get exactly this: as base score and level score, 121. But for example, if you have a bronze card with this warrior. You will have 121 plus 10 percent. 10 percent of out of 121 is 12.1. It's gonna be something like 133 point something. Okay. Good. Uh, um, a silver card will give 20 percent bonus to this uh, to this um, uh, to this to the score of this player and so on until the unique card, the unique card that will give almost 50 percent, 40 percent. 40% out of 121 is roughly, I guess, 48 points. So instead of 121 with a unique card, you will have 160. Okay, as I said, you will have an army of five such players that you want to enroll in a competition. This is this is how uh, this is how the the things will actually look in the game. Where, for example, you can have. Um, one, two, three, four, five players in the competition. Each player scores a certain amount of scores, and the total points for the five cards that you have um, that you have entered in the competition is your total score. For example, over here you can see 225,375 points for this experimental lineup that I wanted to um, show you over here on the street. Okay. This is the lineup of Clopoyal. For example, Marabus will make a lineup consisting of of Liner, uh, Gubotrovna, Saber, Bob Barley, and let's say um, Casadelli. And the scores of the scores of that the scores of that lineup will compare with my scores. And of course, if the score is higher, that um, that player wins. If the score is lower, that player loses. That is that is how um, uh, that is how it's going. 
Also, <laughs> me on TV says good ball throw. Well, it's it's just um, it's just uh, it's just some random random Eri public players. This doesn't mean that you will be in the game or you will not be in the game. If you see yourself on the screen, doesn't mean you'll be in the game. If you don't see yourself on the screen, doesn't mean you won't be on the game. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, so basically, basically this is um, this is how uh, the game is played. You are gathering up a team from e Republic players, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, you are trying you are trying to uh, to get the best out of um, out of um, out of these players. Okay, now questions. What will happen? Where is the trading card game? When is gonna be launched? The game will not be launched with the marketplace because. Uh, on the marketplace, the blue cars will not be able, will not be tradable. Cause what happens? Everybody when he starts the game gets 20 blue free cards. You will get good players, bad players from all the ranges, you know. So because all these cards are given for free, they are not, they are, they, you cannot sell them or buy them. Because otherwise, everybody will make 100 accounts, will sell all the cards, and you, you know what happens? Cheating. Okay. The only cars that can be sold will be sold and bought will be the bronze one, the silver ones, the gold ones, and the unique ones. Because they are in a limited amount and they cannot, they, you are not getting them for free. Those cars can only be won in the battles, in the competitions. You cannot get them, get them for free. That is the rule. And this is where the trading card game comes into play. How you will buy and sell the, uh, the cards? Well, the currency in Club of Stars, it's obviously the club. Next to the prizes in cards for the battles, you will also get an amount of club. Okay? So, gather, gather all your clubs in the game and buy or sell the cards. Once you have a silver, uh, once you have a bronze, a silver, a gold, or a um, unique card, you can put it on the market and you can set up a price. If someone else is willing to play to pay that amount of um, of clubs or in an auction for the highest bidder, the highest bidder pays pays the amount of um, of clubs requested and becomes the new owner of the card. When you sell that card, because the card um, thanks to the serial number is traceable, you that card goes from you to the other player, and you will no longer be able to use that card. But the other player that purchases it will be able to use it, has improved his lineup. Okay, one important thing. Club of Stars is a totally independent game from eRepublic. So, you will not be able to log in with your eRepublic account into Club of Stars. Club of Stars will have its own site. You can even check it right now, but there's nothing there. Clubofstars.com so, Global Stars will be, um, will be found at globalstars.com. You'll log in over there, you'll have to make a new user with a password, you have an avatar over there, you'll have your own account over there, which is totally separated by eRepublic, which is totally separated by Twitch or by any other account. So, Global Stars, it's a standalone game, doesn't have a connection with anything else. If you are playing in Republic, you can continue to play in Republic normally, has no connection with Club of Stars. What you do in Republic is in Republic, what you do in Club of Stars, basically in Republic, you go, you fight, you do your weekly challenges, you do whatever you want. You buy your packs, you buy your power packs, that's in Republic, that stays there. In Club of Stars, you log in with your um, with your username, which can be different from in Republic, doesn't matter, there is no connection between them. You go over there, in Club of Stars you have cards, with those cards, you're making your team which enters on the battlefield and fight other players on the battlefield. The performance of the battlefields are influenced by eRepublic, but there is no connection between Club of Stars and eRepublic. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, Saber, the site, the site is secured. Okay. If I will be a card, I'll fight more guys to get points and win. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Now, those being said, those are the first um, uh, preliminary information that I'm ready for, um, to share with you. Also, you can find, um, you can find uh, 
more information about the game, about the mechanics at this link. Uh, you can go and um, check everything that I explained, but in a more detailed way and um, explaining more on, um, on everything. And right now, uh, right now, feel free to ask me questions um, in the chat because while I explained, I tried to be as um, uh, detailed as possible and have not read the chat. So, shoot the questions. Uh, can we make an account already? Louis Rintel? No. If you went to clopostars.com, you have noticed that the star, the site doesn't work. No, you cannot make an account yet. However, the, the alpha testers will be able to make an account tomorrow, starting tomorrow morning, to test the game. Okay. If you want other tech advice on securing, uh, securing it, um, message me on Discord or another time. Sure, Saber. Any help is welcome. Okay. Other question. <laughs> the pool of chosen players will reset or change every round. No. Once, once a player is in the game, it remains there forever. So if I play, if I have chosen to uh, to put Louis Grindel in the game, there will be, there will still be there. Okay. Uh, there will be 36, an unlimited amount of uh, blue cards for Louis Grindel, 36 bronze cards for Louis Grindel, 12 um, silver cards for Louis Grindel, 4 gold cards for Louis Grindel, and 1 unique card for Louis Grindel. And that will be, those uh, bronze, silver, gold and unique will be tradable. What happens if Louis Grindel quits e Republic? If Louis Grindel quits e Republic or is banned from e Republic, that card no longer score points but is not removed from the game. It will continue to exist over there. If it's, if, if it's not performing, it's like, okay. It's like, hey, even football players die. You know, it's like, okay, it's a dead citizen, it's a dead card. That's it, shit happens. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, Yona says, because I wanna, I wanna see if I can exploit anything. The purpose, of the, the purpose of the alpha testing and then the beta testing is first of all to see if, um, if things are working properly and secondly to see how the game can be exploited so we prevent those things from happening. Yeah. <clears throat> what happens if you change his name in E-Republic? Uh, Sabrex, if you change your name in E-Republic, we are getting this information from the E-Republic API. So, um, the information are always up to date on the card. So, for example, if you change the citizenship, the flag over here on the right side will be to the new citizen that, you, um, that you're having. Uh, <clears throat> if, uh, if, for example, somebody totally disappears from E-Republic, well, it, it, this, his name disappears from the card as well. So, yeah. If, if, if your name in the Republic becomes Dot, and you are presenting Clopo Stars over here, where it says Clopo will have a Dot, but you will have the ID, so it's easily identifiable. That is why on the card is also the Republic ID, because people can change their names, but they cannot change their IDs. The ID is unique to every single player in the Republic. Uh, so if a player becomes E dead or banned, because cards become useless, no replacement, too bad, this is one of the risks. Yes, that is one of the risks. If the player is banned, the card in the game becomes useless. You can try and sell it to somebody that doesn't know. <laughs> yes. Is Plato aware that you are using E-Republic stars for the game? Yes, Marabos, Plato is aware. Um, E-Republic e -Republic agreed to such a collaboration with, um, with Clopoya or TV. But why should Clopo Stars players suffer if um, someone gets banned? They are not in any way related uh, to that player. That's poor design. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I mean, okay. When when you are picking your 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 fighters, okay. At the start, of course, you will get twenty cards. They will be random cards. But with time, you will, you will grow your collection of cards so that you gather best players. When, when you will start buying bronze cards or silver cards, you will, want, you will want to get players that are performing well. Or for example, if you have four cards and you need the fifth one, then you may want to, to get a player that is performing well. So you will not, you will not get banned players. But if, if, for example, if for example, a player gets banned in the Republic, I cannot provide such a replacement. Because no two players are alike. So for example, okay, let's say Klopoyaur gets banned, Klopoyaur makes an average of 50 points. But then, okay, let's replace Klopoyaur, let's replace it with, um, uh, with Marabus, for example. Marabus today also has 50 points, but who knows, maybe in the future we'll play better or worse than Klopoyaur has ever played. So that is why players are not replaceable. It's like, you know, it's a risk you have to take. It's not bad design, it's intended to be like this. If the Republic player gets banned, that's it, shit happens. 
I mean, even okay, think about think, think about the um, football. Even if a fo in a football game, if a player gets injured, he's no longer able to play. It's a risk that every club it's um, is taking. You know, it's like it's like this as well. <laughs> Can we destroy cars if they become useless? Um, you you will be able to sell them. Cars cannot be dis destroyed because who knows? There is, there is that say Roman Dacko that no one ever quits in public, only takes a smaller or longer break. There are many cases of people that died, but then revived and came back to life. When we start the game, we are starting with 250 players that are actually active. I we will not start the game with people that are dead or they are not playing. So, um, if along the time there will be people that quit the game and those cars will be useless, okay, that's it. You'll have them in your inventory and maybe you'll be able to sell them to somebody. But you will not be able to destroy the car because it's, there, it's the nature of the, of the cars to be unique. And even if, even, even if you have, even if you have um, um, a useless card, maybe you will be able, maybe you will be able to put it in a composition. Let's say in a, a composition of uh, four fighters have five, five cards, right? Each competition will have certain restrictions. Either there's gonna be only blue cards, only bronze cards, only I don't know um, silver cards. And I'm not mentioned right now, but each card has a certain power which is the average of the points the player has done in the last um, 54 days, in the last two months. So, basically, based on the total power uh, <clears throat> of, the, of the five cards, you have to be restricted to, let's say, 150, 180 or something like that. And you may have four powerful players or a dead player, which scores always zero, but the other four players, maybe, maybe they, um, they can score enough points. So, yeah. How do we get Global Stars clubs? Global Stars clubs can be won in the competition. The, the, the cards, the cards and the clubs in the game can only be won in the competitions. <clears throat> okay. You're comparing professional athletes with some random guys on the internet. I mean, uh, you're comparing Iri Public with Call of Duty. <laughs> If you feel like playing any public fantasy league is too risky, then it's not for you. I mean, too risky. It's a game after all. You have nothing to lose. You go over there, you try to have fun. If, it, if the game is enjoyable, you continue to play. If you don't like it, you don't play. If an account is deleted, for example, via GDPR request, will the cards um, uh, once again be available? If the card is deleted via GDPR, all the information from the card will be, um, will be removed as well. So, for example, if Klopoyaur goes to any public admin and says, delete me from the game entirely, then according to the terms of service uh, that I will provide for you, also the card will be deleted from my, um, from my site because it's the request of the, of the user. But the card actually will not be deleted. I have not yet set up everything in regards to this. I think it will, um, it will be a blank card. Showing only, showing nothing in the space, maybe only the ID. But I have not yet, I have not yet set up everything, all the legal details to be able to, be able to answer to this question, Mr. Alexi. But uh, thanks for, um, for asking, I will, I will make sure to, to have the right answers. We want Klobokar's power spin. I don't think so. <laughs> what happens if you, if 50 of your selected players become dead citizen? Will you reconsider on changing players or adding more? Okay. As you can see over here, below you have a small number, one. That represents the season, the seasons. We will start as usual with season one. A season will consist in a period of two, three, one month, two months, three months, depending on, on the stages of the development of the game. And whenever a major thing will be introduced, we will go to a new season. What happens in a new season? In a new season, a new feature is launched by the marketplace, in a new season, more players from the Republic are added. So, for example, we are starting 150. In season two, maybe we add 55 more. In order, in order to ensure the, uh, uh, the health, the health of the system. So, for example, if a lot of we have a lot of people playing Clopo Stars and there are not enough cards, then I will add more players to be able to um, to fuel to fuel the game so they um, uh, so the players are actually able to have variety in the game not everybody playing the same five players in the lineup so um, every season will have new features launched 
we'll have um, uh, new cards added and uh, new types of battles. Okay. Other questions? Uh, let's see. Uh, what will be possible to buy with dollars? Uh, one, one important, one important um, uh, thing that I wanted to always, um, always think about uh, when, when um, an important thing that I want to emphasize about Club of Stars that is not gonna be a pay-to-win game. I want, I wanted to make a game that is actually based on how good you are, and that is why, with very, very small exceptions, very small exceptions, maybe once in a lifetime. The cars will not be purchasable. You will not be able to buy cars with money. <clears throat> that that will be a golden rule for um, for Clopo Stars. And the only thing that you will be able to buy with with um, uh, with real money will be the possibility to get in-game currency clubs. You will be able to buy the possibility to organize private competitions. The possibility to. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, to add prizes to the current competitions, um, visual visual um, elements for of customization for your avatar and for your name. Because as I shown you over here, give me a moment. Okay, wait a second. Okay, as you can see over here, it's Clopoyao and you see an avatar. So you have an avatar in game, but with money you will be able to customize it as this avatar. So you have a special frame around it, or other other things, um, other things like that, which um, which will enhance your your um, your view, your nickname in in the game. This will be basically, but not limited to the amount the things that you will be able to um, to purchase with money in the game. Okay, next skins combo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, eventually it's it's a game. It's a game that costed a lot of money to make, and of course I will try to at least recover the money that I invested in this game, and I will also need additional funds to further develop the game. So of course I will need to sell stuff in order to make the game um, to make the game profitable and to make the game work and to be able to maintain it because of course there are costs with the servers, costs with the programming, costs with the maintenance and so on and so on. Uh, so yeah, I, uh, the game will uh, will sell stuff. But one golden rule that I set up from from the moment when I create this game is that the cars will not be sold for money. You will have to earn the, once once somebody earns the card in the game, then. People that are poor, uh, that are um, having clubs, can trade that card. But you, you will not be able to get a certain card just by paying the money. Okay. Okay. Uh, will Club of Stars have a dark mode theme? A saber? Yes, we are working on that. Okay. Uh, what are the prizes? E public CC or thanks or fame? Okay. Uh, at the start, we may have prizes from uh, from any public, like power packs, like blitz packs, like I don't know things like that. But we will try to have our own set of prizes uh, related to Clopo Stars. Not much about any public. So who knows? Maybe the winner will get a clock or a Clopo Stars T-shirt or a signed T-shirt um, uh, by Clopo or other things like that. Uh, also, in the competitions, in the battles, you will have prizes consisting of um, consisting of better cards. So, if it's a blue, if it's a blue uh, competition for blue cards, you will get bronze cards. If it's a bronze co a competition for bronze cards, you will get silver cards. And next to that, you will also have clubs. In each competition, the top ten players will get prestige. The first place gets 10 prestige, the ninth, the second place 9 prestige, and so on. And the total prestige for each player that will give the ranking in the general classification of the game. So if you are in the first place, you got 10 prestige. And that will be it. That will be like, I don't know, the, the things that, that makes you great in the game. So if you want two competitions, you got 20 prestige. And you got those 20 prestige, and in the general classification, if no one else has more than 20 prestige, you're the leader, and in this way, you are the best in the game. Uh, the prestige ranking will be displayed also on the out on the um, uh, login page of the game, so you will be able to see who is the best in the game at each moment. 
uh, the prestige will uh, will work um, on the on the certain amount of time period so the prestige will um, will be counted for example only for the last three or four months so if you will right now if there is somebody that wins all the rounds doesn't mean it's gonna be the best for the five years from now on every um, after four months after four months in a week the score, the score that was um, uh, scored in the first week after four months will replace the score that was uh, made uh, this this week for example so always gonna be the prestige for a certain amount uh, for a certain period of time okay uh... <laughs> Uh, will it have a mobile optimized version? Greek Tiger, for now, uh, the game will be released only in the browser mode, so it's gonna be optimized for desktop. As the game progresses and I gather a little bit more money, money from, uh, from selling various things in the game, um, uh, mobile app is in the in the um, uh, in the making. But first of all, we need I need to to um, to make the game working absolutely flawless on desktop, and then and then I don't want to optimize it for mobile. I want to make a mobile app because the the costs are roughly the same. So um, I know that everybody everybody nowadays does everything on the phone. So yeah, that is on our radar on uh, on my radar. But. Um, I have to say that the mobile app will not come sooner than the end of the year. Okay. How does it start for first time users? Do you get some initial cards? Okay. First of all, in order to register to Clopo Stars, you only need an email address. You put your, um, you put your, uh, your username, your password, your email address. Once you put your email address, we will send you a code to that email address to make sure that you are a real person. If you have that email address, then you'll paste the code and you enter into the game. Once you enter into the game, you get 20 cards for free from the game. 20 blue cards, like this. And with these blue cards, you will be able to make your first lineup and register in the, in the battles. And from this point on, there will, always, there will always be at least one battle, one competition that no matter how bad you are, you will still get a blue card as a prize. So, even if you are the worst player, you have zero, 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 you will still get a card as a reward. And so in this way, you will have a chance to somehow improve. You always fuel your collection with new cards. Okay. Uh, other questions. Are those cards and the 20 cards be balanced somehow? Yes. Okay, if you, if you go over here, uh, <clears throat> The, the 150 players will be separated into tiers. Okay, let me let me let me better explain the, explain the, while while here. So the best players will be tier one. For example, we have 150 players. The best 10 players are tier one, the best. From the 11th spot to the 30th spot, those are tier two players. From the fourth from the 40th spot to the 70th spot, those are tier three. So the first 20, the, second, the next 20, 30, 40, 50, there are five tiers of players. And when you start, you always get two players from tier one, three players from tier two, four players, four cards from tier three, five cards from tier four, and five and six cards from tier five. So it's always a balance. It's not something that somebody gets all the best players and somebody gets all the bad players. All, all the cards that you are getting are balanced so that you, um, everybody has roughly the same chances of winning a prize. Tier, tier, not tier, tier. <laughs> it's like, it's like, um, uh, it's like uh, three subscription. So um, tier one, tier two, or tier three. So tier one is the best. The best 10 players are tier one. The next 20 players are tier two. The next 30 players are tier three. The next 40 players are tier four. And the last 50 players are tier five. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Um, as, as I said, uh, you can find uh, more information over here um, if you check that. Wouldn't top players of the first weeks um, have long-term OP advantage with um, with the cards they get? Well, nobody nobody stops um, nobody stops you from uh, registering in the first in the first week um, the same the same time with everyone else. 
I mean, it's like, it's like this, this question applies to the Republic. If you start playing right now compared to Clopoyer who plays this game for 15 um, years, are you a little bit low? True. But even if, you, even if you start right now compared with other players that started, let's say, um, three or four months ago, you still got the 20, uh, the 20 cards um, uh, free and there will always be a competition to register and to, uh, <clears throat> and to compete with other players. Because the, the competitions, the battles will be rarely restricted. So, for example, there will be a competition only for blue cards. So, even if Casadelli, even if Casadelli has all, like... 150 all the blue cards he will only he will also have to pick a line of five and will compete with the new guy that has only 12 cards but still can um, can line up um, five cards so in this in this way everybody has a chance even though if it started right now or three or four months ago okay <clears throat> I mean, the winner gets better cards, that's quite random, because see that blue cards are awarded at random when it's registering. As I said, the blue cards are awarded at random, but with a balance. As I said, every player will get two tier one cards, and the difference between the players in the, in the same tier are minimum. <coughs> what happens when e-republic servers go to, um, go to final sleep one day? Well, it's obvious. When, when the e-republic um, servers go to sleep, Clopo Stars goes to sleep as well. Or Clopo Stars goes and expands to a different game because this concept can be applied to other online games that suits the same type of e public. Yeah. Music stops, music is back. I think that in the gold competition where our cards are unique, there could also be a meta by creating a single player um, and dominate, right? Um, I mean, in my, in my vision and in my... Um, how how I thought of, how I thought the game is gonna be very very hard to to um, to dominate by yourself because because uh, I have gathered I have gathered data from me Republic for the last um, three or four months and believe it or not the e Republic players are not as consistent as you think I mean one day they have a great score the next two days bad 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 so there is not such such thing as a player that constantly hits the greatest score because uh, honestly nobody has the resources to do it okay you can randomly get for example 200 million air damage uh, green day wake or things like that okay just to prevent this let me let me show you something else okay I show you that um, that on the ground damage and the air damage you get uh, you get um, the points based based on the total damage. However, the cap for the for the the damage for the ground damage and air damage is capped 100 points. So you get one point in, on the ground. You get one point for each 500 millions. But if you pass 50 billions, which corresponds to 100 points, even if that player score 75 billions 100 billions 200 billions you will still get only 100 points the damage the, the total amount of points for the ground damage is kept 100 same for aviation you get one point for aviation for 50,000 damage if you hit 5 millions you get 100 but if that player hits 10 millions 50 millions that still gets 100 so exactly to prevent that I put I put this cap so um, for the ground damage and air damage the maximum cap is 100. I have not put a cap to battle hero and sky hero metals because e Republic doesn't allow you to do so. You cannot get more than 60, 70 because you don't have enough fuel. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> You have to convince the player to get more battle hero medals, uh, sky hero medals. I mean, yeah, there is a risk that some uh, somebody like I don't know Turbo uh, puts Clopo in the lineup. He's in the second place and he needs to beat um, someone else. He sends me a message: Clopo, fight harder! I need you to score more points. <laughs> and Clopo gets annoyed, says, "Get up! Get get out of here! I don't want to do it." <laughs> Yes, of course, there's a typo over there. The site contains a few typos. It's Clopo site, of course, after all. You need to recognize it by something. <laughs> so it will be paid to win? Uh, where, 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 where do you get that, um, Diva Positiva, that it's gonna be paid to win? 
to pay for to Iri public for your hero to win. I mean, I mean, <laughs> in a way, in a way, you can influence the outcome, but um, but it's it's not it's not gonna be easy. Uh, will will we be able to see the caps for damages? Um, uh, I mean, I mean, once 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 this hits 100, it will no it will no longer go higher. Okay, one more thing. It's not gonna be like, okay, you see the scores today, and you see the scores next day, that's it. No, the scores will be updated real time every hour on the site. So, at 100 in Republic, you will see the update. At 200 in Republic, you will see the update. At 300, you will see the update. So every hour, you will be able to see to track the damage real time and the scores real time. And also the general classification for the battle will be updated real time every hour. For the start, we will update um, the classification every hour. As we go further in the game, and um, uh, the e public database allows us to do so, maybe we'll do updates faster than faster than um, than every hour. But for now, we're starting with that. You want your hero to be better? You fully stack him with packs, says Eva. Okay, but you know, if your hero is bronze, there are 36 more bronze heroes like that. So, of course, because, because, um, as, as I said, okay, the, your hero, but your hero maybe is bronze, so there are, um, 35 more. If you have, um, if you have a silver hero, there are 11 more. If you have golden hero, there are three more. The only way, if you have the unique card, then you are, you can be sure that you can buff that card. <laughs> Imagine the inbox of a player from Klopo Stars if they had a bad week. Yeah, imagine. Especially tier 1 player. Let's, let's say Klopo, which right, right now Klopo is a tier 2, tier 3 player. So let's say Klopo goes into holiday and he only fights from the phone and instead of his regular, let's say, 30, 40, 50 points, he scores 10. The inbox. You could have worked better. Come on, Klopo, fight more. Get that medal. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Kassad asks, when are you gonna when are you planning to launch? The planning on the launch? Okay. Let's 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 roll let's roll this again because uh, check this out again. It says coming March 2024. So the game will be released this month. Uh, it will not be released um, sooner than the 16th of March because we need to run the alpha tests and beta test, but not later than the 31st of March. So the game will come this month. Okay. This uh, the teaser said the March. Yeah, the game will be relaunched, um, released uh, this um, this month. Okay, how the game will gonna be released? The game is gonna be released with the minimum features available, because um, the the you will you will be able to get the cards, you'll be able to register the competition, we'll have the first battles, but in the release phase in the release phase we'll not have the marketplace because everybody has um, blue cards. The blue cards cannot be sold, so the marketplace doesn't have a sense yet. And we'll go like this a little bit into single player mode because you'll not be able to interact with other players um, uh, to, to get the cards. And most likely in season two or a little bit later after one month or two months, we'll also introduce the marketplace. At the start of the game, you'll be able to, um, to engage in, um, in battles with a battle general with all the other players. We'll have different categories, but with all the other players. In the future, at one point in the trailer says, defeat friends, rivals, or clans. 
These are features that are planned to be introduced in the future. Defeat friends, you will be able to challenge a friend of yours to play a game with you, your lineup versus his lineup. Either it's a friendly thing or for a sum of clubs. That will be one of the future, one of the features for the future. The second one, rivals. In the rival, in the rival area, there will be rivals for 1,000 clubs, rival for 2,000 clubs, rival for 3,000 clubs. And you'll put over there, this is my lineup for 3,000 clubs. And if someone else, without seeing your lineup, accepts the challenge, you and that rival, you are playing for 3,000 clubs, the winner take it, takes it all. Okay. And clans. Clans is the last feature again, it will be launched um, a little bit later, not sooner than this autumn, if everything works okay. What will be clans? You will be able to team up with another two or three players to make your clan. So, for example, Casadelli teams up with Punisher, Visterius, and um, let's say Ilya Zlatev, or no, um, uh, with Inopna, to fight versus a clan formed by Bob Marley, Spawn BG, Gubo Trovna, and Ilya Zlatev. And these four players are putting their lineups together, and the clans clash, clash. And also, they put a stake of clubs, and of course, the winner takes it all. Easy win, says Inopna. <laughs> But again, this, all, all these developments will come with time, but uh, as I said, in the first stage, I will launch the game uh, with, the, with a minimal amount of features, also to, okay, let's be realistic, to make sure, to see if people like the game, and if you, um, if you enjoy the, the gameplay that this, um, the, the Club of Star is offering to you. Because if people do not like the game, if people stop playing the game, then there's no reason to improve it. Simple as that. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. Any other question? <clears throat> in the first, in the first version of the game, only chat will be available. The game will not have chat. The game will not have chat. Uh, you will, you will, you will not have a social feed like in Republic. No, that that ain't gonna happen. You will, you will, you will, um, you will have um, the access to your cars. You'll have uh, on the main page uh, a place where there will be the latest, um, the latest news in regards to the game, the competitions which you can join. Also on the right side you will have um, your trophies because the game will offer trophies depending on, um, on the performances in the game. Like you have medals in the Republic or Battle Hero medals and of course other things in relation to, um, in relation to um, prestige and so on. Okay, <clears throat> where will troll then? I don't know. I mean, making a social feed is a little bit complicated, but if you really want to troll in the game, I will make that feature available, but later. <laughs> okay, here on the stream, yes, you can, you, you can troll over here on the stream, because once the game launched, um, we, will, we, will, we will talk about the game, we'll have... Uh, Almost every day we'll take a look what is happening in the game, who's first, who's last, what happened on the market, what cars have been sold and so on. Also, starting from um, uh, from next week, we'll have um, um, weekly, weekly, uh, let's call it um, meetings like this, informal, informal meeting, where you can ask me questions about the game, where I'm going to tell you what... Um, what is the stage of the features that we have improved? What have we done? Uh, what else? If I'm, if I'm able to show you more pictures from the game, if I can actually show you things from, um, from the game right now. So yeah, I will, I will keep a constant communication um, with you people. And uh, okay, another, another, another important thing, ticketing. Because like it or not, like in every game, there will be problems, there will be bugs and so on. Well, you're all using the Republic that you can make a ticket, and that is how it's working. Over here in Klopostas, it would not be like this, because you'll not wait an answer from Catalina Bay or from someone else. Over here in, in, um, in Klopostas, you will go and you'll talk directly to me. You will have a de um, uh, on the side, you will have a link that will send you to my Discord server, and in my Discord server, you will have a channel where you can open a ticket. You open a ticket, you have a direct discussion with me, and I will try to personally solve your um, your ticket and see what was the problem. Like this. No robots, no waiting, because I have the Discord um, opened every day. So um, you will have a fast resol um, resolve to your tickets, to your, um, to your problems 
because you'll be in direct connection with me and because you know it's a it's a personal project i like to take a more personal approach um, towards you <coughs> oh let's chat gpt to write um, haikus about clopotelli and send them um, clopo them via tickets well the, the ticketing the ticketing feature is also it's already available so you can test it if you want um, uh, you can go on my discord discord.gg slash um, uh, okay let's um, let's go over there okay and you have over here the um, support ticket server over here it is if you click over here it says if you have a problem open a ticket by clicking the button below you click um, you type a create you click create ticket and then you will have an, um, a personal a personal uh, channel opened with me and we'll be able to to continue the discussion over there and in this way i want to i want to take a personal approach to to the problems in the game if the problem is solvable i will tell you over there if not that's it <clears throat> you only hope it won't be t800 <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay uh other questions Best support ever was not in my mind for this project. <laughs> you click Manic Jackson and Grand Texas. <clears throat> Holy crap, how can one um, be realistically present in all of those servers? Well, Clopo is. <laughs> okay, so uh, any other questions in relation to, um, uh, to Clopo Stars? Also, also, uh, before, uh, before we end, um, since this is a project I worked and I put all my heart and soul in it, I will ask you to support me as much as possible um, by making shouts about the game, by trying to, um, to tell your friends about the game, um, because if they, if, they, if they try it and if they like it, they will stay. But it's, more, it's very important for the people to actually try the game and see if, um, if they like the game. So I would be great if you would be able to support me at least like this. <clears throat> I will support you where I can. I wish you luck, Lopo says. Which high profile influencers have you hired to do promo card pack openings? Uh, Casadelli. <laughs> they will not be card packs openings. As I said, cards will not be purchasable. You all you have to win them in the game. You will not be able, okay, I see the card Casadelli. I want the card Casadelli, I want to buy it. Or I want to buy a pack of cards. No, you will not be able to buy a pack of cards. Somebody, you have to win the Casadelli card or someone else has to win the Casadelli card and then on the marketplace you can buy it if that person is willing to sell it. <laughs> Best of luck with the Club of Stars game. Hopefully it will be successful. Well, Eva, who knows? Maybe you're in it, or maybe you're gonna be you're gonna be the the king of the game because you know every player in the party, you know how everybody fights, and who knows? <laughs> is buying a direct sale or like an option thing? Uh, as I said, marketplace is not gonna be released when the game is gonna be released. It's gonna be um, released a little bit later, but in order to prevent cheating, it's gonna be an auction. So um, you're gonna put the card for sale and uh, for a certain amount of time, for example, let's say 48 hours. So the highest bidder in 48 hours wins the card. Because otherwise, um, a cheater puts a card for 1 million clubs, uh, the other cheater buys it, and in this way, things are going thoroughly. <laughs> How do you win cards? In the competitions. You put your lineup in the competitions. If you are, if you are the best, you're getting be better cards. The, the, the worse you are in the general classification, the weakest cards you get. That is how it's working. <clears throat> but when you start the game, you get 20 blue cards like this. Those are for free, so when you start the game, you get 20 cards for free. And from that point on, you start to improve your collection of, uh, of cards. <clears throat> okay. Other than that, I have not hired any influencer because uh, this game, at least at the start, this game is addressing to Republic players or maybe former Republic players. But for somebody that is outside the Republic, it's a little bit difficult to understand the concept. But with time, with time, um, who knows? Maybe the game will be successful and Ninja will promote us instead of playing Fortnite. We we'll say, who to put in the on the battlefield tonight? Should I put? Casadelli or should I put Romper or should I put uh, Gnir Raps or should I put uh, Malamus? 
<laughs> and yeah, I've hired myself as the influencer because, damn, I'm pretty cheap, I work for free. <laughs> How many cards can I collect in total? As many as you can, all of them. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, the blue cards are in infinite supply. But okay, let's make a calculation, let's make a calculation. So we start with 150 cards, okay? There will be 36, 36 of each of those 50, 150 in bronze. So 36 times 150, that's 5,400 bronze cards. Then we'll have 12 silver cards out of 150, 1,100 silver cards. Then we'll have 4 gold ones, that's another 160. And another 150, which will be unique. And that's a total of... We start again with 7,950 tradable cards and an infinity of blue cards. So, how many cards can you get in the game? The answer is as many as you can. There is no limit. But the maximum of 7,950 tradable cards plus an infinity of blue cards. <clears throat> can you get duplicate cards? No. Because that is, that is the point of having the serial number on the cards. So, if I got serial number 1, that means no one else can get serial number 1. Everyone, everyone else, the, the, next, the next one that gets the Clopoe Hour card, gets serial number 2. The next one, serial number 3. Okay, and there was another thing that I haven't told you about yet, because I didn't have the time. I told you that the higher the rarity of the cards, the better the bonus. So, 0 bonus for bronze, 10, 0 bonus for blue, 10% for bronze, 20% for silver, 30% for gold, and 40% for unique. However, enrolling the cards in a battle, in a competition, will also give the card experience. And you can level up the experience of the card. So even, even if, for example, I will have card with serial number 1, and Saber may have card with serial number 2, Depending on the experience of the card, that card will perform differently. So for example, the cards can be leveled up up to level 40. Each level gives you a bonus of 0.25%. So, Clopoyau. Let's say Clopoyau makes 100 points. <clears throat> but, serial number 1, my card is level 1. That means I get 0.25%, so I get 100 points. 25 But Saber where serial number 2 His card because he enrolled it in a lot of competitions Is level 7 Level 7 means 7 times 0 25 That means 1.75% So I made 100 points plus 175 1.75 So that means even though he's the same player His card scores more points than my card because all the cards in the game are unique. <coughs> Serial number 69 of 420. Demo selects. If you can get it, it's yours. <laughs> Will there be black market for the cards? The cards can only be traded in uh, in game. <laughs> Watch out for Somalian pirates trying to steal the cards. <laughs> okay. So, so um, the, 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 the purpose of having serial number of the cards is there cannot be two cards identical in the game. Even though it represents the same player, the cards are not identical. So, as I said, there are 36 bronze cards. But each bronze card will have a different bonus next to the 10% for being a bronze. Will have a different bonus based on the level of the card. <clears throat> Will auction listings um, from users be anonymous? Uh, I don't think so, no. And also all the cards, in order to ensure transparency, will have the history which will be visible. Actually, it will not be anonymous. You will see, for example, bronze card ceiling number one for Clopoyau was won by Marabouls on week one of the competition. And then, two weeks later, was sold for one million clubs to Bob Marley. And after three months, sold for five million clubs to Marcelaxi. So we will have we'll have the history of the card, so we know we know where that card was. Okay? And then Marcelaxi quitted playing. Okay, another thing. 
uh, because there might be players that gather these cards which are in limited supply and they may, I don't know, no longer playing. If you don't log in into your game for a period of 60 days or 90 days, I've not yet decided, your account will be automatically deleted and your cards will be returned into the, into the pool of cards available to be won. So, if, 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 you, if you, for example, start very, very strong and you get a few cards but you no longer play, well, you lose the cards. If you want to restart again, you can restart, but you start again fresh with those 20 blue cards. <laughs> we play with clubs or with stars. The clubs is the in-game currency, the stars are the cards. So, yeah, <laughs> you, play, you play with clubs. You play with clubs. Good traces, Bob Marley. <laughs> Please let it be 69 days? Okay, these days I will think about it. Yeah, but those stream clubs, the, the, the clubs from the stream are totally different from the different from the clubs in the game. Confusing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> only in the privacy of your own home. Exactly. Okay. Board, good. Any other questions? Because I wanted to the, to be this like 40 minutes and we are already one uh, one hour into um, into explanations. As I said, this is um, uh, this is the uh, the link to the wider explanation of the game. Feel free to check it. Feel free to study it. And uh, if you still have questions, I'm here, always um, free to open to answer them, of course. Okay, offliner, cut that off. Cut that off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to sum this up, welcome to Global Stars. Um, it's official, it's gonna be launched um, uh, this month, I don't know exactly when. Tomorrow morning the um, alpha testing will start uh, and yeah, hopefully everything will, um, will go alright, everything will go okay and um, before the end of the month uh, we, will have, we will have the game live and you will be able to, um, to try it out, to see if you like it and of course um, let, let, let's not say bad things, unlike in Republic, I am here to hear your feedback and to always try to improve, um, to improve uh, and take into consideration your good ideas, what can be done, because this game is true, it's my creation, I, I designed it, so to speak, uh, but um, it's addressed to you, so any idea that will come along the way, if it's gonna be good, if, it's, it's, it, if it can be implemented, then it will be in the game, because why not? Okay. <laughs> England testing. Okay. I wish you luck. Looking forward to see it says uh, Saber. Thank you very much for that. Um, uh, feel free to spread the word um, in uh, in uh, e Republic. Okay. Why do we got this? Let me also uh, <clears throat> welcome to Club of Stars and. Let's put the link, uh, the YouTube link, over here. Okay, whew. that was uh, show teaser one more time. Okay, let me let let me do it and let me let me do it from my source, not from YouTube, because yeah, from my source, from my source is um, uh, is uh, safer. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Club of Stars. <laughs> 